Tonight, local legal experts are breaking down how President Joe Biden's new executive order will affect you and me. Yeah, the policy, which places limits on asylum seekers trying to come into the U.S., went into effect on Wednesday. But as the night team's Avery Everett tells us, challenges are expected soon. It is disappointing. It's disheartening. The Biden administration's new policy on how to handle the border crisis is facing backlash. People are desperate. Uh, they will leave situations that they need to flee from. And now we're just setting them up to be in pathways of increased violence again. The executive order that went into effect earlier this week will temporarily stop granting asylum to migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border if illegal crossings pass a certain threshold. Migrant advocacy groups are concerned about the long-term effects. Crystal Cartagena is with the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services, also known as RACES. It's easy for people to just view this, uh, this issue as a numbers um, sort of situation rather than seeing the humanity. Criticism has come from both major political parties over this policy, and a lot of those conversations are happening right here in Texas among politicians. Some have called it the wrong approach, and others call it feckless or irresponsible. Now the question becomes, with all of this concern, will the policy stand or will someone try to challenge it? So I expect that fairly soon. Erica Schomer is a clinical professor of law at St. Mary's University. She says similar legislation to this order has been struck down in court because it conflicts with the person's right to apply for asylum on U.S. soil. So there is a fundamental conflict between laws that Congress passed and what this executive order is doing. Schomer says presidents do have some power to restrict immigration, but only to a certain extent. And she says history with previous administrations and previous border policies don't show many positive outcomes. It never works, and it almost always makes the situation worse. As this order rolls out, advocacy groups say they're on high alert. So we are trying to, to get a good pulse of, of how it's affecting people already. Waiting to see how exactly it will be enforced and what this means for U.S. immigration. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News.